she works hard to stay at the top of her style icon game. But Jennifer Hudson needed a break as she was spotted trading in her high heels for a pair of slippers at the Brit Awards Sony after party in London on Wednesday. The 36-year-old Oscar winner looked ready to mingle in comfort as she rocked the fuzzy footwear arriving at the Corinthia Hotel. Daring to impress, the singer allowed her ample cleavage to take center stage as the strapless number was form-fitting. The shiny scarlet fabric highlighted her flawless skin tone as she wrapped herself in a stylish black jacket. She kept her trademark raven tresses long and loose as they cascaded over her petite shoulders. Supplementing her natural beauty, Jennifer went with a subtle makeup palette including a soft smoky eye. Earlier in the evening, the Dream Girl star furnished a pair of black open toe high heels to complement her look. She carried a white rose with her outfit direct nod to the number Metu movement. The campaign was born on social media last autumn to help demonstrate the widespread prevalence of sexual assault and harassment in the workplace, following the allegations of sexual misconduct against Harvey Weinstein. The White Rose trend started at the Grammys Awards 2018 and have continued on to the British Alternative in London. The stars were out in force for the Brit Awards which was hosted by Jack Whitehall. On the night, Dua Lipa, 22, won two of a possible five awards including Best British Female while Ed Sheeran, 27, took home one gong. She was also nominated for British Breakthrough, British Single, British Artist Video of the Year, and the prestigious MasterCard British Album of the Year for her self-titled Top 10 debut, which produced the No. One single New Rules and three more Top 40 singles. However Ed missed out on an award after being nominated for British Male Solo Artist, British Single, MasterCard British Album of the Year, and British Artist Video of the Year. Meanwhile Sam Smith was left out completely in one of the biggest awards snubs in history.